guys, happy Sunday and welcome back. Today I have a collective haul for you of all the items I have picked up or been sent very, very recently. We've got some ASOS, some NEX, some Sheen, some Zara, so let's get straight into it. I'm gonna show you what I picked up recently. So first up, I'm gonna start with Zara. So the first thing I picked up was this white t-shirt, which actually caught my attention because I don't really own very many white t-shirts with a little bit of detail on. So I loved this, it's got embroidery flowers all over it and these flowers are blue, orange, green and yellow and a bit of pink as well. And then some of them have got little sequins on too. I don't know how well you can see that because obviously they're quite small. I just really liked this. I thought it was a very delicate, very cute kind of piece for my wardrobe and also very easy to wear. I think this would look great under a little cardigan, under a jumper and also very versatile because you can wear this in spring, summer as well because it is just a white t-shirt. So I love this for kind of layering and things like that but also I'm gonna save it for the summer months too. I got mine in a size medium. It is quite oversized actually. I think I always order up a size because I like my clothes to be quite loose and baggy rather than fitted but actually I probably could have done with a small in this because it is a little bit big around the neck. So the next piece I picked up was this dress and again I got this in a medium which actually I think works in a medium and this is a maxi dress that is striped which I absolutely love. The only downside is I didn't realise on the website that it was sparkly. I thought that it was just a plain knit but it has got a slight kind of sparkle weaved in throughout. So you've got a bit of navy, a bit of brown and then this kind of rusty kind of coral colour and actually I think this would go down all the way to the floor which I love because I haven't actually got any kind of fitted maxi dresses in my wardrobe and I think this would be so so flattering. I think if it didn't have the sparkle texture it would be a little bit more kind of versatile but for me this is screaming kind of an evening look but we'll try it on and see what this looks like. Okay so with this one because I hadn't already tried this on I feel like I need your guys opinion. It's very thin material, the sleeves are a little bit long on me as well and it is a little bit kind of loose but I kind of like that. The only thing is, I feel like it's not very forgiving on my bum because I have got a bit of a junk in the trunk. Um, but yeah, I actually really love the length of this. If any of you guys see any dresses that are like this length and this kind of fit but not sparkly, let me know because I do really like this. I just wish it was knitted without the sparkles but I love the length with these boots. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> And lastly from Zara, I picked up this dress, which I've actually shot for my blog. I don't know if it'll be on there yet, but check out lauabradshaw.co.uk and if it's live, it will be on there. And as you can see, it is black with this floral detailing all over it. And the neckline is very kind of, I wouldn't say it was high neck, but it comes up to about here. So it's kind of like on the verge of a midi neck length. And it's got this really cool, like very delicate frill detailing and then a little necktie. And then it goes down into a V. And then the dress kind of breaks away and it's just like a really lovely smock kind of, I would say it's like more midi length, but I love this on. I really, really just fell in love with this instantly. Um, the only thing is, it doesn't have a lining in it. So actually, when I'm holding it up to the light, that is completely see-through. It's like completely sheer. Okay, so I think what I would need to do is get like a petticoat dress or something to go under it, like a black dress or something. But I'm kind of annoyed that that's come without a, like, a lining in it or something. But if this had a lining, it would be perfect. But I think if you do buy this, then be prepared to have to put something under it, like a little black dress or something just to protect your modesty unlike me who's left the house in this with just underwear underneath so that's great <laughs> no one said anything but hopefully no one saw what I'm in knickers so next up what else do we have I might as well go straight into it and go for the next item so next kindly sent me a few items from their website that I picked it's a size 10 and it was 34 pound and again I'm going all in with the dresses and the stripes today this is a striped midi dress and look at the colors in this I literally love every single shade so we've got orange black cream green khaki green blue pink black did I say black? Brown? Every colour you want, basically. And I just think it's really nice. It kind of picks up your complexion and makes everything look a little bit more bright. So that's why I liked this. I would probably choose to wear this with some black tights at the moment because it's flaming freezing in the UK. And also, I think I've got some really nice clumpy kind of DM style boots that would go really cool and kind of make it look a bit more funky. 
but also I would be inclined to wear this in the evening with some heeled boots I think it's the kind of piece that you can kind of mix and match for different occasions I think with a leather jacket it would look really cute but also a really big kind of black duster jacket would look really nice as well it is the kind of dress where you have to suck in a little bit after January especially me because I ate so much chocolate but also get yourself a good pair of hold you in knickers and you'll be fine it is quite flattering it's not I mean you can't see your knicker line through it so it's not that thin so it's quite a thick material but yeah the colours for me just sold me on this I absolutely love the colours so well done to next next also sent me these boots which I have fallen in love with I actually have been looking for a pair of patent boots for a while now but I wanted something that were going to be comfortable and easy to wear otherwise I just wouldn't wear them these have already been worn three times I can report they are very very comfortable so these are patent boots as you can see they have a very kind of clumpy heel that isn't too high not too low I would say it's about three inches if that um, and it's got a silver zip which runs down at the inside obviously and a really nice kind of curved edging to where the zip is which, which I really like like attention to detail is my thing toe is kind of more circular rather than pointy which I do prefer so yeah, I just really like these. They go so well with so many outfits. If you're not sure on painting, I personally feel like painting edges up an outfit, makes it look quirky, makes it look a little bit more cool. I have been wearing them to death because I absolutely love how they make an outfit look and they look very, very quirky with an all black outfit. Like I have wore these with a black outfit, with a black coat, black scarf, black bag, and these, and a red lip, obviously. And I just feel really cool. So they just make you feel cool, which in my eyes, it's always a good thing because it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> oh, I'm talking so fast because I've got to get through so much stuff, right. So next up, we've got some H&M pieces. So the first thing I picked up from H&M is this cardigan and this has a price on it, it was 12 99 I got it in a size medium because I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized. So this is the cardigan. It's gonna be quite hard to show you because it's very slouchy. It's a really beautiful shade of lilac, which actually matches what I'm wearing today, funny enough. And I just picked this up because it's super soft. I just think this would look amazing over a vest top or a little kind of top like the one I've got from Zara. I also picked this up in like a coral shade as well, but the lilac is my favorite. And I am trying to inject more lilac into my wardrobe, mostly because sometimes I just get a bit bored of wearing pink and I still want something a little bit more feminine and a little bit more pastel, so lilac is my gal. I can picture this with an all black outfit, a very skimpy tight outfit with patent boots, this over the top and I'll feel instantly cool, like it's weird, I just love lilac at the moment as you can tell. So yeah, so 12 99 I really liked these, they had a few different colours as well, I think they did them in like grey and cream if you do like to go a bit more neutral with your cardigans. So then from H&M I picked up this dress and this is actually what I wore on Christmas day and it was so good because it's a smock dress which is super baggy, super oversized so I could eat whatever I want and I didn't have to undo my jean button because who wears jeans on Christmas day anyway, let's face it. This is a lovely kind of I would say it's more of like pastel baby blue and then it's got this really cool kind of I think it's quite 70s like black print all over it the neckline is what I like the most it has a kind of really delicate I guess it's like a ruched up frill kind of effect and then it has a little tie so you can tie it into a bow or you can leave it open if you like and then it goes down into a v-neck and then the sleeves you have a little elasticated end here so they're kind of balloon sleeves I guess I just really like this. I have been wearing this loads recently. I've been wearing it with black tights and some patent boots like the ones from Next or ones that are a little bit more clumpy and flat. Kind of like a DM style boot because I love that kind of mixing a dress with something a little bit more clumpy. I actually picked up exactly the same dress in a different print in the sale like last week. So this was £10 I think. So as you can see, it's exactly the same around the neck. It's got the same detailing and the ties that tie up but it's in this really cool, I want to say like jungle print, I guess it is like jungle print, like it's very green, orange, we've got like a bit of blue, loads of different colours basically, which is right on my street, so I really liked this, and because I know that I've worn that one so much, I had to pick up this version, now this version I actually feel is a little bit more funky, like I've worn this with black tights and a black coat, and I feel like it's very kind of like, I don't know, it's just a bit different and a bit cool. I think it's because I haven't got anything like this in my wardrobe, like I haven't got much green. I've actually paired it with a green beret as well, quite often, because I think I love picking out colours that I can match to my hat and things like that. So yeah, I really like this, and since it was in the sale, I had to pick it up. 
So then I have a jumper from ASOS and this is my, oh, it's my jumper of dreams, I've got to say it. And I've been talking about this so much over on my Instagram story. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen this already. So this is a jumper. And as you can't see right now, it actually changes colour quite a lot. So it's blue, then it's lilac, my new favourite colour, and then it's pink, and then it's cream. And I can't really show you because there you go. How beautiful is this? Like, I literally love this jumper so much. I don't know if I want to buy another one just so I've got it for the rest of my life. So I've got, like, different versions to take me through my life. But I love the colour and I love the colour gradient as well. It's very, very cute, very cool. And, yeah, so it's a very soft material, which I like as well because I love my soft jumpers. Oh, I feel like I've got lipstick on my teeth. Also, it has this really nice kind of cable knit detailing on the front. Um, and yeah, I just, it caught my eye instantly on ASOS. I knew that I had to have it because it's the kind of thing on ASOS, when you see these kind of pastel, ombre, dip dye jumpers, they sell out instantly. So I had to pick it up straight away. I didn't get it on next day livery. I waited for it for a little while, but yeah. I'll leave the link to it below because loads of you have been asking me on my Instagram stories, like where it's from, how much it is and things like that. So I'll try it on for you, leave the price, but also leave the link below because I think some of you guys might be liking this jumper a little bit. So next up, I have a t-shirt from a website, goodgirlgang.co.uk. And um, this business got in touch and asked me if I'd like to try a t-shirt and see if I liked it and maybe feature it. And I'm all for helping out and supporting small businesses. So I thought I would feature it on this video because it's a really lovely t-shirt and I love the print. So this is the t-shirt that I picked. And I don't know if you can read it on there, but it says, not your babe. And it's got this little lady on here who's smoking a cigarette. Um, and yeah, I just really love the print. And I'm, you know, I mean, you guys know I love my oversized t-shirts, come on. But this is like my kind of t-shirt. This is my like around the house, nip into the shops, feeling comfortable, wearing it with leggings and trainers kind of t-shirt. It's my kind of thing. So I absolutely love this. And then I have a little beret. As you guys know, I love my berets, especially if you read my blog and follow me on Instagram. I am always wearing them. So I have this one to show you. This is a mustard beret. I have these in, I mean, I've got them in blue, lilac, um, red, green, uh, brown. I've got basically every colour you could possibly need because these little babies are £2.79. £2.79. I actually did um, a blog post on these. I'll leave the link to that below so you can go and check them out, what they all look like, all the different colours and so on with the links to each one. But yeah, £2.79 from eBay. I will leave the link below. This is a seller that I use. I mean, they're pretty good quality for that price. Some of them are a little bit smaller than others, but if you wear them a few times, they do tend to stretch a little bit. So yeah, I love these and that's why I've got so many berets and I can match all of my dresses to at least one colour because I basically have the rainbow in hats. So I thought I would mention that because, yeah, £2. I mean, you can't even buy a coffee for that in London, can you? I mean, that's pretty good going. So I have some pieces from a brand called Sheen. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's S-H-E-I-N. So the first piece I have are these, um, I guess they're like jogging bottoms. I've got these in a medium and they are these little bad boys. So they're jogging bottoms with a rainbow strip down the side. And I think these are really, really cool for jogging bottoms. They are quite a shiny material. They might remind me of like Adidas trousers from the 90s, that kind of material. They're a really nice elasticated waist. I think looking at these, they look a little bit small for me because I have got more of a thigh and bum kind of curvature thing going on with my body. So I think these might be a little bit snug, but I really love this rainbow detailing down the side. And I think these were super cheap as well. I don't think they were that expensive. I would personally wear these with an oversized t-shirt and a hoodie perhaps and some trainers for that kind of casual vibe. But I know out there there must be some girls that would wear these with like heels, with boots, with DMs and you could rock it. So considering the price, they're made quite well. Let's put it that way. So I really liked those and I had to pick those up. And then from Sheen, it's probably my favourite purchase. I got this cord jacket which is in this most beautiful kind of dusky pink shade and this is so soft and so lovely to wear I've already wore it a few times and I've blogged about it it will be on the blog soon but yeah as you can see it's this kind of stripy cord material and it has this kind of velvety texture to it and yeah I just really like the shade of this I really love my pinks and my dusky pinks you guys will know um the quality of this is amazing like I think you could definitely pick up something like this in the likes of Topshop 
for about 40 quid. So I think this is a really good price as well. Again, I'll leave it on the screen. But yeah, it has these really nice silver buttons down the front. It is quite oversized. It's quite a... I mean, I got mine in this small and it fits kind of like, it fits how I'd want it to fit. It goes really nicely with some of the dresses that I picked up, especially the Zara dress, which is what I blogged about. Um, and I really like that idea of like picking out a bit of pink from an outfit, popping on this jacket and then it just, it changes it completely. So guys, that was my massive haul. I feel like I've had to talk so fast just to fit it all in to one video that's not going to take the whole of your Sunday up. So sorry for that. But oh my God, that is everything I've picked up recently or been sent. And now I need to make room for it in my wardrobe, which actually is at full capacity. So I don't know how that's going to happen, but that's... That's my problem, not yours. Lucky you. <laughs> Hopefully next week I will have a homeware haul for you. You guys have been asking for it like mad, so I'm pulling together all the little bits that I picked up for the house, including one amazing item which you guys are gonna love. And I'm gonna film that in a homeware haul that will hopefully be live on Sunday. Fingers crossed, all goes to plan. Thank you so much for tuning in again, and I hope you have a lovely week. Bye guys. Mwah. Also guys, I have been getting so many messages about where my weekly vlogs are. The weekly vlogs are coming back, but they will be on a new YouTube channel that I have created called Laura Bradshaw Vlogs. This YouTube channel is dedicated to weekly vlogs only. Once a week, every week, you'll be able to tune in to a weekly vlog brand new from me. If you miss the weekly vlogs and you want them to come back, make sure you go over and subscribe to the YouTube channel I have created. Once I hit a certain amount of subscribers, I will be bringing back the weekly vlog once a week and I will hopefully be keeping it up this time. So I'll leave the link to that below and you guys can tune in every week and I'm so excited to be back.